Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Cory, and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now in this video, I want to go over another money-making method. Well, it's actually money, gold, and XP, and that's of course doing the daily challenges because that's a great way to make a ton of gold, XP, and some money right now here in Red Dead. Honestly, I pretty much have only been going after the daily challenges, and I know that I already have a ton of money, but in the last couple days, I've made over $600 just by doing the daily challenges. And that's basically like when free roam events, like not necessarily come up, but like, like actual free roam events and not missions, not the invites that you get for like King of the Castle, but truly just the random things that happen in free roam, doing those, playing with a couple other people and doing a few other things. I've made so much, actually so much money that it's just been insane in a couple days. So, wow, just just wow. So, honestly, all you guys really have to do is be doing uh, the daily challenges and just, just do the things that come up around it. Like, again, hide out, make sure that you guys are looting people during, like, a, any, any type of the free roam random events that come up. And then, honestly, just in, go into some of the free roam events in general and even do some of the free roam missions like we had yesterday. We had to complete three of them. So, anyway... We are continuing the daily challenges today. We have to kill five animals with a knife. Okay, that's a little bit more unique. Okay. We have to update one of our belt buckles. That's easy peasy. Uh, one herb picking contest completed. So that means we're going to have to definitely join into a posse and do that. We have to pick five oregano, which I don't think I need any right now. We have to kill players with explosive and free roam event. Okay. All right. Uh, kill three players with... Melee and showdown. Wow, we're getting really in depth. And then we got uh, Redfin Pickerel caught. All right. Well, I think. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> well, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and lasso some some animals. That sounds probably pretty good to me. Updating one of our belt buckles. That's gonna be pretty simple. Let's see. I'm not going to do it to a gator. That's that's for, for sure. Or a cougar or anything like that. Though it'd be kind of fun to experiment a little bit. But I don't think we're necessarily going to do it. I, don't, I mean, you know, nothing happens when you truly die in the game. There's no repercussions to truly dying in the game. So I guess it really does not matter. But I think what we're going to do is head off towards roads and see if we can find ourselves some deer. Because I know I was in Lagros. I could definitely tell that by the surrounding. Um, let's see. We're just going to go this way a little bit. And let's see if we can find ourselves some... Deer. Watch us find the panther that's, that spawns over here from time to time. Well, that thing is just going to be killed with a rifle. Instead of a knife. Alright, let's see what we can find. Otherwise, you know what? We There might be some cows actually at the farm. If I don't find any deer here... Deer here? Uh, then I think what we're going to do is we'll just run up there and check it out real quick. But not looking... Not looking so much. Otherwise, I might just go to Valentine as well. And find some... Get some of my oregano. Got a random horse on the side of the road. Oh, no. There's a player there. Definitely a player there. Just kind of chilling. Are there like no animals in my session? Because this seems really odd. Is there cows over here? Well, what in the world? I haven't seen a single... I, I found a, I found a bird. That's about all I've found so far. Okay, wow, this is really interesting. All right, so let's, um, hmm. I guess we could go to the pig pen in Valentine and see what's there. All right, well, I found my first deer here. Let's see if we can catch it. Let's see if we can catch it. Where do you go? Where'd you go, you little booger? Come here. All right, I guess that works too. <laughs> Uh, horse, where are you going, dude? You run away. Don't run away like that. Okay, where'd the deer go? 
See, free roam events like that, the random ones, but that's not really what I'm interested. I want to know where my deer went. Well, now that we've made it into Valentine, I'm actually just going to stop at the general store real quick. I'm going to change my belt buckle just to get that done and out of the way. Uh, I don't think I've seen you before. Oh, you definitely have seen me before. And the liquors you walked in. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just change my belt buckle real quick. So let's see, belts right, buckles right there. And then we're just going to go to, sure, this one looks great, wanted. And then that should be, there we go, gold bar, done, complete. One daily objective, donezo. Actually, does it tell me how many I've done for seven, or for, like, in a row? For, well, it tells me 26, okay. I've done, so since the, the challenge has started for the double gold, I've actually done all seven of the daily challenges since that has started, which was uh, last Tuesday. So almost an entire week of doing all daily challenges. So that's 10 gold bars every single day, which is insane. So I'm going to obviously continue to try to do that, but we're going to go ahead and pick some oregano real quick, and then we're going to stop over and see if there's piggies at the pig farm. So we should have some oregano like right in this area. Now there's some right here. So we're just going to go ahead and grab that. We just got to pick, what, five pieces of oregano? I'm, I'll show you guys on, exactly on the map where I'm at. Um, you guys can pretty much find oregano anywhere. Oregano is super um, easy to find. Just like thyme and even mint is pretty easy too. So let's go ahead and find some more oregano. That's four pieces. And then I think there was what, thyme over here or what's right here? No, nope, that's not. That's mushrooms. Uh, we definitely got some extra stuff here. Creeping thyme. See what I mean by creeping thyme? And then this looks like oregano right here. There we go. Perfect. That is a thing of beauty. All right, so that's all five done. Look at that. That's two gold bars, just like that, guys. I mean, seriously, right now until tomorrow, unfortunately, this is the easiest and best way to make gold on Red Dead Online right now. I mean, 10 gold bars a day for completing all of them. It's going to be probably, what, five or four gold bars every day after that. Is there any piggies in here? Where are all my animals? I think I might just have to join a new session. Because um, I don't get what's going on here. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at which ones we have left to do. We have to do, obviously, the knife one. We have to do herb picking contest, which I'll meet up with a couple people later to do that. Otherwise, what you do is you just go into your posse, uh, start join your posse or whatever you're doing, and then go ahead and start the herb picking contest. And then what else we got to do today? That's going to be easy. We have to do the free room events, which, okay, kill players with explosives in free room events. So teen, I want to dynamite arrows should work, I would I would imagine. So definitely make sure that you guys have that pamphlet in order to do that. Um, so I do quickly just want to go over the, I'm going to go more in a depth in-depth video about the schedule for um, this. And it's actually been out for a while. Um, so it is actually roughly every 45 minutes. And if you think about it, if it's Pacific time, so like California time, it starts at eight o'clock in the morning and it's every 45 minutes after that. So if you're Eastern time, you would just add three hours or if you're a different country, just figure out what the difference in time zones are and then just add that and then add uh, however many hours on top of that that you would do. So pretty easy, but it starts at eight o'clock in the morning Pacific Standard Time, and then it will be a, a different event. And it actually starts at 8.40. Well, 8 o'clock is going to be the first one, but um, that one kind of is different. And then 8.45 is Challenge Event. We have 9.30, which would be Fool's Gold, 10.15, Cold Dead Hands, everything like that. And I'm actually going to go down in a complete breakdown if there's certain events that you guys are looking for and what times they would be at. And then, like I said, it is Pacific Time, so you guys would just have to calculate what difference in time zone you guys are to get that all done and complete so unfortunately for me just to, based on the time when i am doing this i have to wait another about 20 minutes or so and i don't know if i'll necessarily be recording this video for that long so it's going to be a little bit off um, from when i started the video so it is a little bit unfortunate um, we have to kill three players with a melee in showdown which that one could be well, Tomahawk would be good. That'd be good for that one. And then we have to catch three or five Ridfin pickerels. 
So since we're actually in Valentine and pretty close to a really good river that has redfin pickerels, we're going to go ahead and try to catch five of them real quick. Unfortunately, this type of fish, um, you know, it doesn't really like lures so much. So we're going to have to use other bait. I think, I think bread is the best one. I think, or it's cheese. I think it's bread. We're going to give a bread a try. That's not, that's actually, that's what I'm going to go with here. But it, there is a really good location down here. Unfortunately, it's going to attract a lot of other fish that are down in this area, especially if we are going to be using bread bait. So just kind of keep that in mind that it might take a few different uh, casts of the reel to get all five of the redfin pickerel. And it might take a little bit of time, but honestly, you're going to be adding to your pot for your money anyway, just because you will be... Um, you know, catching other fish that you can sell to the butcher at a different time or at a later time. So, all right. So I'm going to go right about here in this location. This seems like a good spot right here. It's a little bit away from the other online player. He's down over there. So hopefully that doesn't affect any spawn rates, but the Dakota river right in this general area is usually a pretty decent area for this. So it, usually I don't go fishing for like red, red fin pickerels just because why? I mean, why would you specifically be... Nope, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, there's the train. We needed that yesterday. Not today. So, anyway, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, let's go ahead and bait this up. And we're going to go for... Bread. Seriously, dude? What is your... All right, guys. I got my first deer here after the unfortunate incident with the other ones. We're going to go ahead and kill this one. I got one lassoed. Nice. That's one killed with a with a knife. Nice, nice. All right, and here's number two for a deer. Killed him with a knife. Let's go see if we can grab this uh, real quick here. Pick that up. Perfect. Ah, uh, it's only a, it's only a one, but I'll t definitely take the antlers and everything else with it. So I mean, that's that's extra money, and this is what I mean by getting some extra money. You know, anything that you guys use for the daily objectives, make sure that you guys are kind of keeping some of them. Now, not all the time do I keep it, but the antlers, those are always kind of nice. Let's go ahead and stow that on the back of the horse real quick. Looking good. All right, so I definitely caught my first red fin pickerel right here. You guys can see that. And I am using uh, bread bait. I've actually caught a couple uh, trout already as well. So if you guys need to stock up on some of the succulent uh, fish meat, Great location to do that. I'll show you guys exactly where I'm at on the map. And there we go. Just outside of uh, Limpany, the burnt down sheriff area. Uh, just a little bit south of Valentine. Great location for trout, red fin pickerel, ba largemouth bass. Smallmouth bass, actually a little bit more inland and things like that. So let's just keep fishing and see what more we can catch. There's actually, a, there was a lot of them right here just a second ago. So, but I am catching like rock bass as well and different things like that. So You'll catch a wide variety of different fish in this location, especially with bread beet, bread bait, just because it is so popular among a lot of different fish. All right, and that is my last red fin pickerel for my daily challenge. It I think it took me probably about seven to ten minutes to get them, but I did get a lot of other fish. I, I got probably four trout from bread bait, um, lots of rock bass, lots of. Um, bluegill and actually a couple chain pickerel because i thought i actually had them and i'm like oh they're not red fin at all so yeah pretty decent catch actually over here but let's go to check take a look at our daily challenges just real quick here so we got our major ones uh we're gonna have to do this one probably off camera we're gonna do the explosive we just gotta wait for the free roma challenge which it's still about it's actually pretty close it's only like five minutes away, so that's prob that's pretty good. And then we just got to do our herb picking contest and kill five animals with a knife. I guess we could run up to Valentine real quick just to see if by chance the pigs are in the pig pen. And then that would be pretty easy to do it right there. So let's just make our way up to Valentine real quick, and we'll check it that out. And then we'll I have to probably call it a day. And of course, the pigs would not be here. But I'm going to go ahead and end this episode right here, right now. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys, stay gaming.